Welcome to Everyday Wines. I'm Carolyn Evans Hammond, here to remind you, you don't need to spend a lot to get a great tasting wine. You just need to know which bottle to buy. Now, before we get started, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell on your screen to get notified each time a new episode is released so you can drink better and save money. Today's wine is the ultimate bottle for mulled wine. And I have the perfect recipe that I'll share with you in a moment. What's more, this wine is widely available, undervalued, and everything you want in an everyday wine. The wine I'm sharing with you today is a 2020 San Marzano Negro Amaro from Puglia, Italy. This red makes a marvelous mulled wine, which is perfect now that the holiday season and the cold weather are officially here. It's an instant crowd pleaser that's surprisingly easy to make. It's the fancy without the fuss. Even better, it's guaranteed to make you a holiday hero. Having a pot of mulled wine warming on the stove is aromatic and inviting. It's like baking a fresh batch of cookies, only better because there's wine. But it's important to choose the right wine. You'll be adding ingredients such as sugar and spices, so you don't need an expensive bottle. What you need is a decent, affordable wine from a quality-minded producer such as San Marzano. This wine sells for about $11 in the US and less than nine in Canada. So here's how you make marvelous mulled wine. You pour the wine in the pot, you add the brandy, you toss in the spices, you wash and slice and add the orange to the pot. You stir in the sugar, you put it on low heat and let it simmer for an hour. Then you stir occasionally, but don't let it boil. For garnish, one whole star anise, one cinnamon stick, and a slice of orange in each mug and it's delicious especially when paired with the right foods. Mmm, marvelous, spicy, rich, a bit sweet, definitely spirited, love it. Now this wine is nice and spicy, so it goes really well with a variety of foods, including this one. Now this is a martini glass filled with a really good quality trail mix. So the nuttiness, the savoriness offsets this and the, the really rich, sweet, you know, dried fruit goes really well with this wine. Or I've got Wensleydale cheese. It's a British cheese. This is a British inspired recipe. And it's actually got, um, it's actually got cranberries inside and the cranberry mirrors the wine you've got this buried goodness you've got the salinity you've got the umami and it works really well and it's great for holiday parties also for holiday parties cookies but you want to kind of go carefully gingerbread works well and so does shortbread especially if it's studded like the ones I've got here with candied ginger and lemon zest So these are three great pairings that go with mulled wine. Are you gonna try my recipe? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm coming right back with more delicious everyday wine so you can drink better and save money.